there is this game that's called a uh, mirror where you get in front of another human being physically and one person is a and the other person is person b and for a while a leads with physical motions raising their arms maybe winking and physical motions and b tries to follow b is the mirror tries to follow we follow the lead of a okay got that you can imagine yourself doing that and the second part of the this game person b takes the lead and moves their arms maybe their body their legs walks back and forth or whatever it is movements and and person a is the mirror tries to follow all their try to tries to mirror all their physical movements to follow them so now b is the lead and a is the follower the mirror and then we often surprise people uh, with this third one, which opens up your thinking, open, opens up this, this traditional way of thinking about being a leader or following in life. And the third part of this game is no one is a leader, no one is a follower. And both are leaders, both are followers. So the idea is you learn, you, you get a sense of how to become in sync no one really takes the lead, otherwise it, it really loses its, its edge. But the movements happen. You can, there's maybe a little movement and the other person continues it and the other person, the person. So, so lead is kind of handed back and forth and band following is handed back and forth. And so both people are following and leading at the same time, both entities. Okay. And if you've never done this game, it can be mind blowing how it works and how it opens possibilities up, actually. Uh, and if you've done it now, ho hopefully you're you're remembering the joy, the beauty of this of being in flow with another human being and leading and following. So, so with this, I wanted to invite us to consider the difficulties or the challenges in our lives what if we were dancing we were dancing in the same way with our challenges we weren't trying to to lead trying to dominate trying to say okay challenge i'm going to put you in a box i'm going to deal with you i'm going to get rid of you and we were not dominated we were not completely following the lead uh, wherever difficulties and challenges took us. But what if we're actually in a dance? We're in a dance with life. We're, we're in a dance with our challenges. So the challenge leads a little bit. And then maybe we're following, and then we lead a little bit with, oh, this maybe this challenge actually is opening me up to see in this way, to move in this way. And then maybe the challenge opens you up and moves you this way a little bit and you move and then oh, you take the next leap. So it's a, it's a dance, it's a dance. And dance isn't a fist fight, isn't an act of domination, but is what life is made of. It's an infinite, infinite game. It's not a finite game when there's a winner and there's a loser. It's an infinite game of expression. So the title I want to give to this section, to this practice that I'm offering is Dancing with Grace. And there are two meanings to this. So what if this dance you're doing, this challenge, isn't just that you're dancing with challenges in your life? What if challenges are actually expressions of grace, goodness? in your life. And through this dance, you're being opened up to more grace, to more goodness, to more wisdom, to more compassion for yourself and for others. So dancing with grace. So your partner is grace. Your partner is grace. You're dancing with grace. You're dancing with grace. And, the, and grace is also the challenges too. It's both grace and challenge at the same time.
And also dancing with grace, another way that, that in English that phrase uh, has a meaning is, oh, when you dance with grace, there's a sense of um, move your movements, your, your actions. There is a sense of uprightness. There is a sense of goodness that the whole dance, the whole being in the world. So dancing with grace, dancing with grace, both of those meanings. <laughs> 